Greetings and salutations, guys. Nivens here with your final weekly rock windup for the month of January. Back in the summer of 2008, legendary club CBGB's closed up in New York. This week it surfaced, they may reopen somewhere else outside of their original place. I guess everything that used to be in CBGB's, because it was a great punk venue that launched so many people from Blondie to Talking Heads to the Ramones, um, Iggy Pop and the Stooges, obviously. Um, that there's a lot of stuff that's just been kind of collecting in a basement somewhere. So they're going to try and recreate it to make it look like the old club. Obviously, it won't be. Um, I never saw any shows there, but I have uh, visited the inside of it before it closed down. So it's cool to see it coming back, which is great. And speaking of Iggy Pop, announced this week he'll be the ambassador for Record Store Day. If you remember, Ozzy was last year. If you don't know what Record Store Day is, it takes place April 21st. It is a celebration of all the mom and pop record shops out there that still engage in selling vinyl and CDs and cassettes, not downloads. I get a little passionate about it. Uh, really enjoyed it last year, a lot of fun. Looking forward to it this year. Well, a lot of people anticipating Van Halen's new uh, album dropping next month. And this week, three songs got rolled out, kind of teaser songs, not full songs like we got a chance to hear Tattoo recently. So those three songs I'm going to put up on my blog over at 989therock.com. Check it out, or if you're already on the web page, check it out. Hulkamania can run wild on you. But did you know that it almost shredded bass from Metallica? According to Hulk Hogan this week, uh, him and Lars used to be good chums, and Lars approached him about being in Metallica as the bassist. It didn't pan out. Seems that Hulk used to be a studio musician before he became... Uh, the world's largest arms come crashing in on you. And in closing, our good friends from Steel Panthers poster for Balls Out, banned in Britain. Overtly sexual. You think this is overtly sexual? I'm Nivens. Thank you very much for tuning in to your weekly rock wind up. Have a good weekend. Peace. <laughs> Give him the O face, did you? All right, ready to do this?